Furious Freaks! Of course, it is Friday, and people actually have something to do. <laughs> hey, here's our fu Furious Freaks music. No countdown, no countdown. Hey! Yeah, I tried going fishing tonight for the first time on the Willamette River. It's a little too muddy and cold, but uh, it was good to get out, take a few casts. I do uh, smallmouth bass fishing. It's pretty good stuff. But uh, tonight I thought what I would do, since John Lorden did his video today and used my uh height you know guesstimate or you know what do you want to call an estimate based on known facts uh that i think i would just make a video tonight and just go over all of the surveillance footage of course i've got to change the uh the title i always forget to do that damn thing all right here we go missy beavers surveillance Analysis. Right. Now it won't show up for anybody like that. You know what I should do is just start over again. All right. It'll come right back up. All right. Well, there's already 24 people here. But I have to, if I don't have the right title on it, it won't show up for anybody that wants to find it. So I'm going to start over again. Hold on. Okay, I think this is a new one now. Are you guys all still here? Or? I'm not sure how this works. It's kind of weird. I stop a stream and then there's still another one. Okay, it looks like it's three or four seconds behind. Okay. Yeah, what I thought I would do was do the some surveillance analysis of the Missy Beavers case. Uh, and I would do it live so you can actually just sort of see what I'm doing. All right, so I think that's kind of basically all I'm going to be doing on this one. All right, so I'm going to open up I think I'll start with the the parking lot footage. Although I'm not really sure completely that the parking lot uh, surveillance that was picked up, I think it was like 320 or something like that, that it is related. I don't know for sure, but we can take a look at it. So does the title on this video right now say Missy Beaver Surveillance Analysis for you guys? I just want to make sure. Okay, good. All right, now people can actually find that video. It won't say what it said yesterday. That's one of the sort of frustrating things. It seems like it kind of makes sense though, right? I mean, <laughs> you got to have the right title on when you go live because then it shows up to everybody who wants to watch it. All right. But, uh, yeah, I went fishing this evening. Didn't catch a damn thing. I only went for an hour on the Willamette River. 
You can tell in an hour if it's not going to be good. All right. So here we go. I'm going to open up the surveillance footage. All right, so I'm going to give you, I actually found this on Google Earth. I mean, it's not hard to find because uh, it's not its not the same church location that Missy Beavers uh, was killed at. Now let me get the, the larger screen on there. Yeah, maybe I'll switch this music up a little bit. It's kind of loud. I'm going to put my uh, the disco one. I like this one. There we go. Alright. You know, sometimes it's easier to actually use Adobe uh, Premiere editing software to look at this stuff because you can go frame by frame if you want to. Uh, it was interesting watching the, the Lorden show today because the guy on there his guest, I can't remember his name right at the second, but he really sounds like he, we were kindred, uh, kindred spirits in terms of, like he brought up the same thing about how people take one still frame and say they see all kinds of things when you actually need to watch the video playing. And it was like, oh, wow, that's exactly what I say all the time. All right, so I'm going to make a new, you can't see it, but on the other screen here, I'm going to make a new project under the, in the Missy folder, and just call it Surveillance. All right. Yeah, got it already existed. Okay, Surveillance 2. I just already had one. All right, so here's the project, and then I'll load in the couple, probably this one right here. That's the parking lot surveillance, and then the Creekside Church surveillance. There's, there was a couple of them that I downloaded, but these are the official videos. All right, so let's take a look at the parking lot one first. Okay, how's that look? Does that look okay for everybody? Can you see that? Sorry, I had the wrong screen open. Let me see. I'm trying to see what people are saying now. <laughs> I just had Doreen's comment. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just was talking to her a second ago. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my God! All right, so you, can you see enough of the screen right there, perhaps? Or do I need to move it over? I think that's probably good. Okay. So look right here on the ground. See how you can see this little cross on the ground here? Well, just so you can see on Google Earth, the, this is where the church was right here at the Creekside Church where Missy Beavers was killed. And then the, the surveillance at the parking lot of SWFA Outdoors is right here. But see how there's that same cross on the ground? That's how I knew. OK, yeah, that's the right place for sure. You know, like you can see it. There's a cross right there. And here is that same cross. So right now, this car right there, I believe, turns into, yeah. And it, what's odd is it turns off its lights as it's turning, right? Who, who does that? If you're not doing something nefarious, who does that? Nobody, okay? So you're turning, and it looks like it goes around that way. So now we can go back to Google Earth and see that the car came in and went this direction. Right? So we already know just by looking at this, we can take a, let's start drawing out 
So the car came like this, right? And then came around and is going this direction like this. All right. Let's just see what the next shot is. Okay, so that's that's good right there. So this is going to be the same moment in time from a wider angle shot. So here comes that car. All right. So basically, what we can do here on the map is put where the surveillance cameras are. So that camera right there is somewhere around in this area. Right, so maybe, like, I'm just gonna guess it's right there. Surveillance, camera, two. All right, and then there seemed to be another one that we were looking at first, because there's that little cross. So let's see what the first one was. First one is near the little light pole there and whatever machine that is, or, you know, like a, I'm sure it's a machine, but a, a little unit of some sort. So let's say, Let's take a look at Google Earth again. And yeah, it's hard to make out that item. It looks like that camera though might be like right up here. Let's take a look at that again. Okay, let's just use the, uh, see the hedge of bushes right there? And then see this parking lot? The camera seems to be absolutely lined up if you went like this to that uh, stripe. So let's see if we can see that. And there it is. There's a stripe, so the camera is going to be right under there. All right, you see what I'm doing here? So this is kind of what I do a lot, so I get a good picture of what's going on. All right, so that's that's one of the cameras right there. I'll make this more generic and just have camera. All right. So let's look at the, the footage again. All right, so the car comes in. Now there's gonna be another. Now it looks like, actually now I see it, it's actually going around that little loop that way. So now I'm gonna go back to Google Earth and modify this path right here. I'm actually gonna just delete it. Because the car comes in like this. Drives down and then goes up like this. All right, so that's where we're at so far. All right. Huh. So this one seems to be a camera that's like inside the building almost. This one, right there, because that car is just turning. Yeah, that, that one's hard to make out. Let's, let's try to uh, adjust the brightness there for a second. Put some... Uh... Brightness, uh, we'll do the uh, video effects. Uh... Image control, that's the one. And then... Oh, actually, it was color correction. All right, and we go in there, go down to brightness. Okay, there, boom. See, now we can see what the hell that was. See how dark that was a second ago? Now look, that's that same cross right here, right? So now we know that there's another camera in that same area. So we'll go back to Google Earth, and that camera appeared to be sort of like inside the building, looking through the glass, like right over in this area. You know, we'll just put it like right there. Camera three, all right?
Yeah. Here, let's just do what we're, we're going over here. What we're, uh, let's focus in on what we're doing right now, not some other image from somewhere else. All right, uh, so let's see. Because if, if I'm going over to read the comments, I want to make sure it's related to what I'm doing, okay? So then I can answer a question. All right, so here's the, the cross, and that means this, this camera is just to the right of that, so let me... That seems about right, about right there. Maybe like inside of a window. I don't know if there's a window like right underneath here, but it's filming out right there. And I'm gonna go back, look at, scrub through the surveillance again. All right, now we've got a camera. All right, so it's gonna go around the building. Now we've got a camera filming at an angle. So keep in mind, see this little grass right here where the point is? And then notice how the point, if you just extended the point out like this at that angle, because this is pretty much a 45 degree angle right there. And it goes off just to the left where the, the corner is right there. So about like that. So we'll put Google Earth back up again. And see, see this is how you can tell where the camera is. It's right in this area. There's that corner of the, uh, the grass right there. And it aimed about like to right there. So that camera is right up in here. Right there. So camera four. So there we go. So, so far we've got four cameras around the building. That's pretty amazing to have that many cameras. I'm not even sure the church had one outside. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to anybody who says, oh, so-and-so did it. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the stuff the way I want to look at it. And if I don't agree, then that's just what it is, you know. But you can go around and say, I have to have facts and that kind of stuff. All right. You know, facts are important to actually go by. Well, what's weird about this car is I don't, I, if it is related, I don't think you can see it all down there. It's so far away. I think it would be that they were just kind of killing time there, so they weren't seen over there. Right? So, like, they could have just been over here killing time. They turned off their lights. They kind of wanted to hide in this parking lot for a while. And then when it came around the time that they were supposed to leave, then they take off and go head over to the church. I don't think it has anything to do with, uh, like, a lookout. That doesn't make any sense. It's like a half mile away. I mean, it's like, let's see how far it is. Well, it's about 0.35 miles, so 40, you know, a little over a third of a mile away. I don't know, I'm not sure. If it was in this one, I might say it was a lookout. But I guess you could say, oh, hey, they noticed a car coming, but there could be multiple cars coming at that time of night. Even though, even though it's really early, it's, you know, it's a used road. Okay, so that car, and then... Wow, I wonder where that surveillance camera was. Okay, so this one is pointing like this stripe right here on these items. Let's see if that's still there. Oh, that's right there, it looks like. This thing. Oh, and that camera was probably up... Okay, that makes sense. That camera was up in this corner up here. Let's look at that again. Alright, and let's make sure that that's the front of the... Let me put the uh, 3D building and see if that does anything. So let me follow that surveillance again. Comes around. Just like 
that. So it looks like there's a there's no surveillance footage. There's a blind spot right here. That's a blind spot, right? From let's see what that is. So right as the car leaves that camera, right there, it actually then it's over in this area by these stripes. And if you look at Google Earth, the stripes are over here. So you're missing. You see the the car drive by right there. The blind spot is right here. Basically, about right in that area. That's a blind spot. All right, so that's a blind spot. And surveillance camera five appears to be right here. films this direction like that and it, that corner of the building right there blocks the shot until the car comes into view right there so I'm gonna delete this one right here and what we'll do is we'll make the the go zones green so the car comes down like this up Color is green. All right, there we go. So you see how much stuff you can just get? Put it all in order like that. <laughs> yeah. See, I think this stuff's fun when I do this, even if it, even though it's a tragic moment, you know, and maybe boring to you guys, but. I don't care! You know what I'm saying? That's the best part. Yeah. So that camera, I think that is, you know, this stripe area there has to be this. I mean, I mean I'm even going to count it so I can make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 little stripes right there, right? Then we go back to Google Earth. You can actually count them because it's that accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's, uh, it's hard to see that. That one's blurry right in that corner right there. But it's close enough. I can see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen right on the corner there. So, yep, that is the spot. All right, no doubt about it. All right, so now it looks like the car keeps going around. You're just looking at that. So, out of view of the camera. The car, obviously, yeah. all right, so definitely have it right there. So there's a little uh, light pole or something right there. Let's see if I can see that. Let's check and see if we can see these other two items that are right there. Okay, I can't make that out. So this looks like a light pole. I'm not really sure what that is. So let's see. And I, I can't see this roof right there though. Maybe it's undercover. Okay, that parking spot there is this parking spot right there. These two cars are right there.
basically you're looking at about like that. Actually, huh, let me try that again. Maybe that's not the right, it has to be the right spot though. Something looks off, like, oh wait, I'm looking at this weird, this is three dimensional, right? So this is actually a wall. See, I was thinking, wow, that thing juts out, but actually this line right there is parallel with this. And that is what it looks like. But for a minute there, it looked like, wow, that goes out further and it was confusing. But if you look at it, actually, this line, it goes like that. And this is actually a wall that rises and this is on a higher level right here. So let's just look at this then. So we've got this edge here, and that probably lines up exactly with this, whatever light pull that is. It looks like it almost hits it right on the nose, maybe just a little bit to the left. So now we can figure out where that is just based on that, and that's probably this right there. You know, I don't know if this is a, this looks like the light pull, and this looks like that other object. All right, so that's gonna be the light pull back there. Yep, right there. So, I'm just trying to figure out where it left view. So it left view just to the left of that. And that's this object. So I think I have that almost right, right there. All right. I actually, Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll do like a, a playlist here. All right, there we go. So if you get some crazy music, come on here. Don't blame me. I mean, you can blame me. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new quote today. I think we should all use it whenever we can. Uh, let me find it. Here it is. I invented it. Okay, so you know when you're on... Facebook and somebody types in all caps or anywhere on, on social media say say to them typing in all caps doesn't make what you uh, what you have to say more valid it just emphasizes your ignorance you see what I'm saying because almost any time somebody uses all caps what they're about to say is completely bogus so it's awesome you can just say typing in all caps doesn't make what you have to say more valid it just emphasizes your ignorance. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I had to say that. I invented that today because somebody on one of my uh, videos made this whole all caps thing and was saying the most ignorant stuff I've ever seen in my life and that popped into my head maybe I should go find it really quick take a break for a second from doing the analysis I'll well, forget I'm gonna stick with it all right so we're going around I don't know where this sort of uh like where this shot is being shot through right there. I have no idea. So it looks like that might be in the back. Let me see what's back there on Google Earth. So it almost kind of looks like he drove around here. This is all blind spot probably. And then that shot's maybe that original shot almost. This, this camera again. Let's see.
Uh, let me remove that brightness. Now it's messing up everything. There we go. <laughs> no wonder it looks so bright. of grass you guys can't see that very well but right there like a little island and then whatever that is so let's see where this shot is hmm. it's a different camera though it's wild Oh, it got quiet. I thought it was doing an auto. Probably hear my dog making a lot of noise. Here, I'm gonna try to get a make a playlist here real quick. Yeah, the love boat. So that car drives around there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time placing that one. I think this is all dead zone over here. So it must be over here. But that's a different camera. This camera's already at the end there. Oh, I see. I get it. I had that other camera wrong. So it, it actually just made a full loop. And this camera here is actually right there. That's not the right spot. And then we have a camera six. That's right here at the end. If that makes sense. Yeah. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm doing all the time when everybody else is you know, waiting for me to put a video. I spend like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just getting all of it together so I can put the story together instead of just, oh yeah, well here's what I think, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
You know, I think people like to have the details, you know what I mean? So I see this island here with a tree on it. Let me see if I can just see that. It kind of seems like it's that tree and this camera is shooting that one. And let's get a better shot of that second, that first camera, the second, this one right here. Okay, so now I see this island and tree and that's the closest one to the, the cross. So that would be this one right here, okay? So that camera is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's that, you can see just barely part of that other island right there. So it's a little bit behind that. Which would be, you know, one, two, three, four, five. This island looks like right there, there's a little bit of an island. And yeah, so I have that camera. This camera actually should be there, it looks like. Huh, let me look at this again. So it's just above that one. And then later on, It almost seems like there's like two cameras in the same spot almost. Like, like these two are the same spot. Basically. I can't tell what this is right here though. Might just be higher up in the air than the other one. Of course he was special ops. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Special ops. If that person was in special ops, God help our military. That guy looked like a bumbling idiot. All right. Let's see. Uh, just kind of woohoo. He was just like a dork, you know, walking around, just had his gear on and had just better weapons than the other person. If I, listen, I'll tell you what, if we ever have a special ops that even remotely looked like that guy, I'm going to move to Switzerland, okay? I wouldn't actually move to Switzerland, okay? For those, oh, well, Grace said he's going to move, I mean, Jesus. See, I think this is the same one. There's a tree right there and an island, and I think that that's the same one as this. I think this camera's lower, and there's actually one up higher, amazingly. So it's not really, they're not, they're almost in the same spot, which is kind of weird. Like, why would you do that? You know, there's no point of that. That's about like this, and then this camera is right there, too. basically in the same spot there. Uh, 
Okay. So basically based on, let me make sure I'm gonna go keep going around the building because there's a lot more footage here. So that car's doing another loop. Now this shot right here is a different one that we didn't have before. See again, this one seems higher. Like they almost have two levels. See like there's these little awnings that come down, but the other ones are almost below those awnings. You know, some of these, or right underneath the awning. Or here's, well, these things are just above them, I guess. All right, so here we go. This one's showing these two blue um, disabled driving signs. So let's see. Those should be, looks like you can see them right there. I mean, I know there's two there. Let's just make sure that it's not those two. I don't think that would be, but. Well, let's see, there's a little side of a building, two disabled signs, and then a tree and a, right there. Okay, let's see. We should be able to find that first take. Yeah, so it is actually this one right here, right there. So see how that camera one, now we have the same location, but it's a different camera. It's crazy. So like this camera right here, okay, so there's a little hedges right there. That's the same camera, almost the same exact location as this one. This one's just on the other side of that wall, which is on this side. This camera is facing that like that way. And then this, so there's another camera right here the father-in-law walks exactly like the suspect okay I can just I can tell you that but obviously he's been cleared. See that my dog right there was just trying to jump up and down onto the couch over and over and over. And then if I snap my fingers, he goes boing, goes right up there. It gets like an extra foot in the air. I don't know what the deal is there. He needs like the confidence. That's what my Portland Trailblazers need. Someone to go, come on, you can do it. Because they suck right now. Alright. There we go. Alright, this will get me more pumped here. Back to the surveillance. They got all kinds of like different angles here. Okay. Huh. Okay, now this is the other two handicap parking, and here's the little stripe thing here. So we got one, two, three, four, five over, and it's boom dead across from that. So halfway through the fifth, if we count this as one. Well, let's see, let's count from the blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, right in the middle of the sixth one. I think that's those, but let me make sure. Yeah, so this little round thing here, let's check that. Yeah, right there, boom. So counting this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway through, so the camera is right up there. I think it was right on the side right there. Camera eight. All 
Man, this is like Fort Knox almost. I mean, my God, how many cameras do you need? I mean, they film the same place. So what's kind of weird about this guy is he turns off his light when he pulled in, right? And then turns them on back here for some unknown reason. So it looks like this is a big dead zone right here. This whole area from here all the way around like this. I think. Let me just keep watching it though. All right, then the car on that last shot we just had parks the first spot over from this island right here. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so. 65, 72 inches is six feet. Okay, so, so six foot eight, okay. okay Typing something to somebody on Lorden's uh, channel. So that would make him slightly shorter. All right, so somebody said that they actually had somebody measure the doors at the church somebody just messaged me on facebook and said that the door heights are 80 inches uh, which is uh six feet eight which is what i told i when i sent lorden the information i said the average standard heights is between six foot eight and seven feet, foot so i use the seven foot one just because it's easy to make um completely perfectly spaced out segments at seven feet so when i have them at about you know it looks like about 511 minus the hat so then if you added four inches and then made equal parts of that you're only going to be dropping you know like a half an inch at the most it's not a big deal yeah i think it was like between I'll just say he was between like 5'7 and 5'10. You know, something like that. I don't think 5'2 sounds absolutely ludicrous to me. All right, so on this uh, surveillance shot right here, we have this island, and the car is parked in that spot right there. So looking at that and knowing that that's this these two blue handicap spots, that means the car's parked right where that car's parked right there, okay? So car parks. And the car sat there for a long time. And then right there, it looks like it's leaving. And this is a new shot right there that we hadn't had. So let's see. That camera must be like right here. You see this little white object on 
on the video right there. I wonder if that's the camera. Kind of has that look to it. Like that's exactly where that would be. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Alright, so we'll put camera 9 on that pole right there. Right where that car is parked. Let me go back and look at that. From the other angle. So it's in the middle of the island straight up. So. Right there. Camera. What am I on now? Nine. And it looks like the car leaves at this point, so it goes just like this. Yeah, and also, but this car turns the other way, you know, you see? See, that's another thing, too. This car actually takes a right. You know? So, it's not heading towards the church at this point. Unless there's a way that you have to turn around at some point further down the road. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a look at uh, Google Earth here. Yeah, so uh, he wouldn't be able to take a left there. It's a one-way highway. So I guess he would he could go down to right here maybe and I don't even know what that is right there. Let's take a look. So he I guess he has to take a right out of there. It's only one way. Right. One way. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to go driving that direction, would you? That it doesn't look too uh like, it doesn't look too peaceful. So yeah, he would get in this lane right here and then turn and go back. But there's really no evidence that he did that unless what they should have done was kept the surveillance camera rolling and see if you could pick him up driving back that direction. You know, but if I was, you know, gonna speculate on this guy, I would say, ah, uh, shit. I'm not sure what I just deleted right there. Oh, camera nine. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so if you're gonna believe that this guy went is the killer or something, you would say that he probably went like from the parking lot, went out like this. Okay, drove down here, got in this turn lane, then went back this direction. Like that. and then got in here somehow, right? Matt. So there you got it. That's the, uh, the video and the cameras on how it actually you know, the car drove through the lot and how it was tracked with the cameras. 
They've got a ton of cameras. This part over here seems to be outside of any camera and then it's picked up in this, these areas. That's a blind spot. This appears to be a blind spot. Man, you guys aren't paying attention at all, man. You guys are on some totally random crap. I can see why, though. This isn't really that interesting. So do people think he actually drove on here and turned around, Doreen? <laughs> well, at least somebody is, Alicia. At least somebody. Okay, so now let's actually take a look at the footage in detail instead of, uh, you know, analyzing the track it took. So the only times that I can see where you can actually see somebody, if you wanted to, give it a shot would be something like right there, perhaps. So what we'll do is some, uh, take some screenshots. Oh, yeah, I got to get a hold of Chrissy Missy. She has a good story. Okay, so that one. Car parks. That's an interesting shot right there. For some reason, that looks clear. Like you can see something in there. Well, I don't need that one. What I need is... Uh, Screenshot again. I'm getting screenshots of this stuff right here. Gum shoe stories. I'm not. What do you mean? Where I'm going? What are you? What are you referring to? I'm just analyzing the footage. I'm not, I don't have anywhere I'm going with it. I'm just looking at it. I'm not, I don't. I don't have. I don't speculate wildly like other people. I'm just looking at the footage and trying to figure out what I can figure out. Are you the guy that was on the the show Gumshoe? today with on Lorden's show. I think we kind of think similarly when you look at information. I don't look, I don't take still shots and, and then go, oh, wow, look, I see uh, three eyeballs sticking out of a... Okay. Yeah, I'm just actually analyzing the footage. Uh, I'm just starting with the parking lot. In a minute, I'll do the... the... Uh, uh, church in a second. Oh, cool, Gumshoe. That was good stuff. You and I think very similarly. I was almost wanting to uh, capture your quotes. <laughs> it was like uh, kindred spirit of sorts. I couldn't believe it. Because uh, what I, I've been dealing with for months and months and months are people who, okay, there's a Kanika Jenkins case and the uh, Delphi murders case that I do a lot of videos on and people find one little still image and they make it into this massive story finding faces I made a whole video on that subject that you were talking about like faces in basically it's confirmation bias of the brain like you you want to see something so now you see faces in inanimate objects and all of a sudden, there's people coming out of everywhere. <laughs> no, I think it's great. Yeah, I mean, I've had people for a while that have been telling me to 
especially Doreen over there, who seems every day, hey, Gray, you going to do something about uh, Missy Beavers? And I did a video a long time ago, and I remember thinking how similarly the father and <coughs> excuse me, the father-in-law's gait is. <coughs> yeah, the uh, how similar the father-in-law's gait is to the the killer. You know, obviously it turns out it's probably not him, but my God, he. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, has the uh, sticking out and the, just the way he walked, uh, the body kind of looks similar. Uh, but that was, a I made that video like, seems like a year and a half, two years ago, right when the surveillance came out. It might have been two years ago. I haven't really dug into it since because it seemed to sort of devolve into those you know, conspiracy theory groups where all these people are, see, you know, coming up with wild stuff. I'm sure the Illuminati and Freemasons showed up at some point. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing on here, um, got to go back to gumshoe stories I forgot your name from the actual show today but uh, I'm just you know going around the building and putting the cameras where I see the camera on Google Earth so that's what I did early on it seems like there's a blind spot right there and then perhaps a blind spot here I didn't see any footage of that and then they had a ton of cameras like this camera shot this way this camera look back that way this camera you know I have all the cameras located there's one on a light pole here it looked like and uh, you know when the person at this parking lot pulled out he drove this direction you know and so he, he could have turned around right here and we wouldn't know about it uh, because it, it is one way right so that's kind of where I was at Hey, uh, Gumshoe, what's your actual name? It was on it was on Lorden, but I can't remember it right now. You know, you're buffering. Let me see if I have any drop frames. Nope, I have no drop frames. Shouldn't be any buffering. Oh yeah? Huh. You guys must be having some storms in the area. So what's Gumshoe's name? He was the guest on the show, right? Or is that what he goes by? Oh, Tim. Okay, Tim. Okay. That's right. I saw that. So, I don't know if he's still there, but what do you think? Does that look like this is kind of where the blind spot is on the surveillance at the parking area? Okay, cool. Yeah, it was, it was good listening to you guys. I only see one person in the car though when I look at it. I don't see two people. I think that's a seat, the other the other part. And just like Tim said, you gotta watch the video. Right? Not just a still frame and then start saying, oh look, there's a shape there, and then analyzing the, a shape. See, when you watch the video, you can see that the it looked like the, the seat stayed there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here in a second is 
I'm trying to get the clearest shots of inside the car. Yeah, like that one, you can, you know, obviously that's part of a person right there because there's somebody driving the car, but it's, it's not really clear. kind of shocked that this shot here didn't produce something. I mean, this is like you're about as close as you can get to the car and you don't see anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what oval you're talking about. Uh, are you talking about in the window or, or what? See, I think a lot of times, uh, you know, it's just pixelation and stuff on different shots. There's, there's nothing, because, I mean, let me ask you this. Let's say there's a sticker, and then a minute later, there's not a sticker on the bumper. What do you, what, uh, what uh, nefarious reason would there be to remove, like the sticker's gone all of a sudden? The most likely reason is because it's just not showing up on the video that you're watching. You know, it has nothing to do with it. It's not really there. Okay, let's say it did have a, uh, a sticker on the bumper. Yeah. So that'd be cool if it had a bumper. Uh, bumper. Oh, so you're saying you can't see one in any of the shots. However, law enforcement claims that uh, you can. Yeah, it does look like it's sort of buffering a little bit. Are you guys still getting the... On the live feed, it looks like it's buffering, like when I'm watching YouTube, but I don't have any drop frames from my software. Like, yeah, it's just nice and smooth over there. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Someone's sitting behind the driver. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So is that a sprinkler system? What's this right over here? Is that a sprinkler system that's moving around? I mean, why would there be a sprinkler? Or is it just really windy? Like it's pouring outside. I'm like, what the hell is that? You see what I'm saying? Like, why is that moving? I'm gonna have to go check a different shot and see what the hell that is at the, at the beginning. Hmm. No, I know it's raining. I know it's raining. Hello, I know it's raining. <laughs> I'm talking about right over here. Look, right here. You see what I'm circling? Just watch what I'm circling over here. You see that? All right, so I, actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in on that. All right, this area right there, you see that? Watch. Look at that. Like, what's? it's moving around. It almost looks like a sprinkler that rotated, like it didn't expect it to rain. What time of year was this? Wasn't this in... Uh, Oh my god. Do you guys see what I'm saying or not? Okay. Because that's definitely like something, looks like a sprinkler system that rotated. Unless it's like really windy and that's something being blown over. And I, I don't know. But, anyways, who cares, right? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the,
Okay, so you guys are you're saying that the police said there's an oval, but nobody else in the public has been able to find this oval sticker. Is that correct? That's no, that's the. Uh, let's see. No, that's not water droplets on the lens. I, I've been doing this stuff a long time. I can tell you for sure. That's not water droplets on the lens right there. This is water droplets on the lens right here. You see this? That's what that looks like. This over here is not water droplets on the lens. That's crazy. That almost looks like, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, that's actually just right on the, the, the cement on the, uh, the crosses. That's crazy. It's almost like it's a, uh, like a dust devil of rain, you know, like in the middle of like, that. Maybe that's what it is like a dust devil, but it's raining. Okay. So that's what you're saying that there's no, uh, Okay, that makes sense. So I downloaded this off the uh, the YouTube site, the, the police site. Is this the clearest version that there is, or is there a different one? Does anybody know if there's a clearer version? Huh. See, I don't know. I could see it being involved, like, uh, this could even be the person, but then all of a sudden somebody said later there was a, a van, a dark van, right? So I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, but it was up on the official site, right? Like, it looked like the police then put it on their site or something. I don't know. That's where I downloaded it from. That's just weird, this little... Well, I'm not gonna like let that bother me. I'll figure that out at some point. All right. So they're saying they can see it on the back bumper. Is that right? So maybe like on, the, they're saying on this shot right here, maybe it's too bright. Yeah, so that sounds like that's probably more going to be the the killer, right, Tim? Or I'm not sure if if it's, if it's one of any of you three using this account, but uh, so you're saying. So I'm not really sure. Maybe this car was. What do you think, Tim? Do you think this is related to? Uh, I, I mean, it it might not be. I do think it's very strange. This moment right here. Right? Like, who does this right here? Like, why do you turn off your lights pulling into... That's, like, right there, you're already doing something weird. Like, nobody does that in real life, right? Like, you, you pull into a parking lot, and you're doing something not nefarious. You don't turn off your lights when you pull in like that. That doesn't make any sense. So, it's odd that something kind of weird like that is happening... Point, uh, 0.35 miles from the church. Uh, what, el what other... Uh, it's not just a coincidence of the car. What do you mean by that?
Hey, uh, Drew, who is he? When you say he explains who he is pretty well, who are you talking about? Who's the who, who's the he in that? Uh, at the second he. <laughs> that was a hard, hard uh, comment to decipher. Right, of course, you know. There's a murder taking place. But uh, apparently this surveillance footage in this parking lot is like an hour prior, right? It's an hour before the guy shows up at the, uh, the church because he got there at, what, about 4.30 and then... And then Missy got there at five-ish, something like that, or was it before that? I don't remember. What's that? Ah, it gets confusing. Yeah, see, I try to avoid actually reading comments because when I get to the comment part, when you're trying to do something over here, it's like, it's so discombobulated. Oh, did he get... Yeah, I had that happen. That happens to me all the time when I go to someone's chat and I have like six comments in a row. It'll say, hey, you got to wait 30 seconds because you commented too much. <laughs> oh, he's the guy that was 6-1, right, Doreen? Yeah, there's some kind of a setting somewhere. I have mine at the lowest setting where anybody can type as much as they want. I, sh I should have been more... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's not just... Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Right, I mean, I just put them together. I didn't say they're too, you know. Right, the fact that there's a car driving around, waiting around, is weird enough, but the fact that you would turn off your lights as you pulled in adds a level of you know suspicion to it yeah i totally agree with that all right so i'm going to open up photoshop and take a couple of those images that uh that i uh had saved that looked promising So I think maybe these ones right here. All right. Here, let me get a, get a different song now. I've, I'm all done with this one. Yeah, maybe not that one. Is this Hava Nagila? Oh, we could do this one. There we go. Let's just play that one over and over. My my debunking music. Yeah. See, here's the thing is when you're watching a video, you have to look at it at its original pixelation unless you're using like HD video. Because then you can actually like high de really high defini definition video. Then you can zoom in and it still maintains its clarity. Because look what happens in this one. Like that looks pretty good. Then you start zooming in and you get like this. And then people say, oh, look, look at it. There's his head there. And it, you know, you can't see anything. There's nothing there. Just a second.
All right, let's see if there's anything here at all when you adjust the... Yeah. And the answer is no. I mean, yes, there's something little right there, but can you really tell what that is? See, you'll get people that take that image right there, zoom in on it, and they go, look! That's something. You know, look, there's an eye there and a head, and and it's like, no, dude, it's just called pixels. We really can't see anything. So then you have to move on to the next shot. All right, let's see what we got here. So this one looked pretty uh, promising, you know, except again, when you start zooming in, you lose, what you really want is HD or maybe even higher quality surveillance footage out there. Because even when you zoom in, it maintains its clarity. This one, you can tell there's probably somebody right there, but you can't tell if that's another person right there. See, a lot of people say, oh, it's another person, but I think that's just a seat with the headrest on it. Okay, that's what I think. I don't think that's another person right there. But to somebody else, they'd say, well, that's actually the only place there's a person. Look, his round head is right there. Okay. He just jumped over to the passenger seat really quick. All right. All right, so we have that one. And what about this Let me try that one again. What you can do a lot of times is sort of, but see, this doesn't really work though. Let me, let me show you with the reality and why people get tricked on this kind of stuff. Watch this. I'm going to zoom in all the way to the windshield. Now you want to see something inside that windshield. That's the total number, number of pixels. These are individual colors right here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So like 24 times, 20, you know, not very many. Like maybe 240 pixels in this little area, if that. And each pixel is its own color. So there's no, you cannot break it down into a more clear shot. You see what I'm saying? There's no, there's nothing else to do. Now, a lot of people think, well, what you can do then is uh, go to the image size and then put like 500 here and make the image way bigger. All right, so it's massive. And now it's just this huge image. And you can zoom in on it and it'll be, but see, all you did was make it so that there's those areas that had, see now when I'm zooming in, look, it's still kind of a little bit clear it doesn't have all the pixelation right but that doesn't work see all you did was you multiplied each of those colors that i showed you times like five and it filled in a bigger so i can still now what i'll do is i'll zoom in and when you get into here you see it's there's nothing there it's just those are pixels again see that can't make out anything I, it does look like there's somebody in the seat there, though, and the car just pulled there, so that makes sense. But you'll have people later, they'll put eyeballs on those those guys, all right? You don't want that. All right, so... I don't know if there's really much else I can do with this shot right here. Um, I don't even know what shot they're talking about when they see a oval. All right, so now let's just move over to the surveillance inside the, the church. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in there and just start doing it.
Is Tim still around or did he take off? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys why in the surveillance footage here, you see him walking around and Tim said things are out of order at some point and I can see that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the floor plan as well as those guys do. Uh, what I was trying to figure out was his height. Now watch, this is why I chose this location right here. Okay, now you see when he opens this door right here? Watch. It's actually a, one of those, uh, what do we call those? Dutch doors, right? Now the, the key is when he opens the second one, the top one. Now watch when he moves his head back, right? Right there, that's when it's right in front of his face. Okay, so that's that's a good way to do this. So right now it's hard to still tell because you don't know where he is on this line right there, right? But when he opens it, look how he stands up perfectly straight right there. The feet are evenly spread apart. His nose is probably right between his legs at that point. And I'm saying about right here. So right there, he's, he's close to it. And then when he gets to the apex of backing up, that's when the edge of the door is closest to his face. So it would be right there. Okay. So right at that moment, the, the door is right aligned with his nose. Okay. So what I did was I took this spot right here between his legs, and that was the zero height and then you go up to the top of the door there and I had that at seven feet. Now somebody just messaged me on Facebook and said that it's six foot eight is the standard height of the door. Now you got to realize that there's a gap from the floor to the bottom of the door so maybe six foot nine maybe there's an inch space there. It's usually not that much though so maybe a half inch. All right, so this is what I used was this right here. So let's uh, let me I'll show you what I did, and you guys can tell me if you think that this is an accurate way. Because I think right now this edge is lined up with his nose, and you can actually see his nose in that shot right there. Believe it or not, and then his feet are spread evenly. He's standing completely straight up. This is one of the few shots where he's actually standing straight up, not slouching. And the camera angle is such where you're not, it's in the middle of the screen, which I like. Yeah, uh, which I like because it doesn't have as much distortion in the middle here. So you notice on the edge here, we get the sort of GoPro effect where, you know, you get the wide angle lens and you get the curve going. So that makes that difficult. But now we're right in the middle and it's looking pretty straight. Everything's looking straight. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take this image right here. Hopefully this works. Okay, I did get it. All right, and then I'm gonna put that in Photoshop. I'll make a whole new image here. All right, now I'm gonna turn on the, uh, the grid. Uh, can't remember exactly where I put that now. That was oh, show grid. Okay. All right. So you see the grid there. So right now I'm going to make another layer and I don't really care where I make this. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's next to him or not. I'm going to make seven perfectly spread out lines. Uh, and that'll be seven feet. Okay. However, maybe we should try something like the only problem is, is see, six foot eight divided by like seven equal lines is kind of crazy. Maybe if I did uh, like 68 divided by seven. Yeah, I mean, it's some kind of random number. Let me think. Like if we just go by six foot nine, let's say, is the top of that door. Uh, what would that be? So six, nine divided by like evenly 
Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out something to... That's why you just gotta use like seven feet. Yeah, I already know about the boots and the helmet. I don't need a... I've already said that. Like there's like an inch of helmet, inch and a half, and then maybe a foot, like an inch for the feet. Right. Right. I said that. Yeah. I keep getting these comments, like uh, like people don't think I'm I take things into account. Yeah, I've already said that. That's why he looks like he's six eleven, but you take off maybe one or two inches for his helmet, and maybe half inch for the shoe, uh, maybe maybe even three quarters. And you know you're looking at. That's why I say between five seven and five nine, ish. Yeah. You know, now if it's six eight the door, then that means you have to sort of take off another half inch in your estimates. But what I'm trying to figure out is, is there an even way to divide, like 68 divided, let's see, so 20, let's see, 15, 16, seven. So 17, I think is times four is 68, right? That'd be 17 inches. Let's just try that, see how that works. All right. So I'm going to draw a line here on this other layer. And it's, I'm using the snap. Well, that didn't work on that one. Let me put the uh, snap back on. Yeah, so snap grid, okay. So right there, let's say, and another space right here so I'm just at the select off or it'll keep drawing it right there there all right so these are gonna be well actually I gotta do this differently than that I'm gonna make him bigger like this. So that's one. Two. So one, two, three, four, and we'll say that each one of those segments is equal to 17 inches, right? Does that make sense? So 28 are the sevens, and then tens, 40, so 40 plus, plus. Now that doesn't make sense, hold on. I need more than that. I need 80 inches. No, well, that makes sense, so let's just make these 20 inches. So these are 20, well, we can probably do this more accurately. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna delete this. So 80 inches is the height. So let's go with, uh, if it's 80 inches, we can do 10 inch increments. And that would make it even a little bit more accurate. All right, so it might take me a minute, but I'm gonna do it differently than what I just said. 
So I'm gonna start down here, make a new layer. All right, there's one. So 80 would be eight, say so one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. What well, if I start down here? One, two, three. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yep, so this is what I do. Hours and hours of just sitting around. And you guys get to watch. Absolutely awesome. All right. Frustrating right here. All right, I'm just gonna do a one pixel line. I'm trying to make it so the line isn't too, so I'm just gonna do one. right there we're up to 20 but a Tim uh, did Tim take off I wanted to get some more uh, info. That was good stuff. Not even sure how he knew I was even on here. Oh, he went to bed? Okay. Yeah, he probably lives on, uh, I'm not sure, do you live on, oh, Texas, yeah, it's pretty late over there. Okay, there it is, I've got, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 inches right there. All righty, now we can take, oh, come on, don't do that. There we go. Now, you see how I got a hold of the uh, the graph here? I'm gonna turn off the uh, the graph now. All right, you see how I got this? This is about as accurate as you can get on this. All right. Okay, so you remember how his nose is right between his, his legs at this point, right? He's not like leaning or anything, he's just standing straight up, he's moving the door open. So you put it about right between his feet, right there, like that, okay? And then you scale it down, because you gotta hit the top, has to hit the top of the door, that's 80 inches. So now I'm gonna scale down the whole thing. Actually, I'll just go like this, move it so I can see the whole thing. And then still put it right there between his feet. Now here's the top of it, right there. Okay, let me move it over a little bit so it's hitting right where the top is, about right there, and that's right. Okay, 
So you guys see what we got here, right? So right now we've got 20, 40, 6, oh, let's see, excuse me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and that's 60 inches right there. Okay, now it looks like the top of his head and this one is right there. So this would be 70 inches right there and 70 inches, let's see, so you got, uh, let's see, 48, 60 is five foot, 72 is six feet. All right, so 72 is like right up in here. So if you divided these by 10, you would actually have uh, inches. So be, there's 10 inches in between each one of these. This isn't a foot thing. All right. So uh, I wonder if there's a way. Here's what I'm going to do. On another, I'm going to hide these for a second. Make a whole nother deal here. Because we don't need, all we need is the inches on one of them. Okay. So hold on a second. Don't keep typing in random stuff. Let's just get this. Uh... <laughs> All right. It's like, oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn back on the uh, graph, which was, where the hell was that now? Yeah, the extras, the graphs here. Actually, I need to make it bigger. So new, uh, I'll make one that's like file new custom, make it uh, 1,000 by 1,000. Okay, here we go. So that's one, two, three, four. There's, so we need to do lines. We're gonna make a, 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 a 10 inch smaller thing and then move it over to the other image. You guys get what I'm doing here? So I'm going to take a start like right here maybe. Just say right there go to there one two So we're going to try to get as accurate as possible here. Not just sort of a, well, I'm eyeballing it type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Jeez. One, two, three, four, except that's one, two, three, four. This will be five. Right? Ah, crap. See, that's exactly why you have to click off of it and back. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we go, the last one. 10. All right. Now we just highlight this crap right here and then go back over and copy it and then go back over to the, wherever the hell I kept the, oh hell, now I have to go look for it. Is it this one? lose that one. That would suck. Oh man, where is that? Oh, that was that other person. That was that video from earlier today. Oh yeah, here it is. Sorry about that. 
I had everything hidden. All right, so view, extras, now zoom in. All right, ah, that's not gonna work, God damn it. Ah, that sucks, hold on a second. I forgot to make that a layer, so I'm gonna have to try to select by white. Select color range, and then white, and delete it. Okay, there we go, that should work. Copy this. Paste it in there. Transform scale. Ah, that's kind of. Okay, I'm gonna do this differently here. Hold on. I'm gonna take this one out. I'll put it back in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this scale this whole thing bigger here so that we have more, you know, like it's not, uh, what do you call it? Uh, image size. Okay, good. Everything stayed together. Now I'm going to paste it in here and see now it won't get all blurry when I uh, try to shrink it. Okay, because I just made that image way bigger. But it didn't, it didn't lose any, uh, what do you call it, uh, the ratios of the, the lines. Everything stayed the same. It's hard. You have to click on one pixel on these little tiny things. So there we go. Right there on the line. Edit, transform, scale. Ooh, Jesus. Need to edit. <laughs> scale right there. And then put it right on that other, the line right there. Okay, and this one right in the middle of it. All right. Now I think we can zoom in and it'll still look pretty good. All right, so the top of his head. Hold on. So. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So five. Wow, that makes them shorter a little bit. God, hell, maybe he is only five, two or something. It's wild. Right, so sixty is five feet, right? No, but you're you're not right though, Drew, because he's got a helmet and shoes on. So let's see, is the shine here part of his head though? You might be right if the shine's part of his head. I think it is, right? That, like that's the shine of his helmet. Let me let me look at the video again. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Yeah, so that shines part of his head. So he's standing there, and then he... Right there. Okay, so the top of that shine is going to be... So it's right there. So 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven. All right, now you take an inch off or so for the helmet. You might even like an inch and a half, so it'd be five, five and a half. And then his shoes, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe half inch for that? So maybe five, five. Gee, that's, that's crazy how that, it's different now. I'm trying to think if I'm, if, I think I'm doing this right though. Cause I have it split exactly, you know, these, these are each of these are 10 inches. Cause there's, it's 80 inches from the floor right there equal to um, this part right here is right in front of his nose. And then I'm saying between his feet are, is right in front of his nose. So I have the line there, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then we can come in and break it down further within inches, and there's 10 inches between these gaps. I'm not using the foot. So 60, and then let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that would make 70. And then 80 right at the top of the door right there. So, hmm. I'd have to uh, rethink that a little bit. I was kind of thinking he was like 5'9 based on the 7 foot measuring. But when you're using 7 feet, that's all automatically going to make him an inch or so taller. Okay, so now we've got 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, in, according to this, his total height is 5 foot 7. Okay? And that's with all the gear on. So, you take an inch and a half off or so for the helmet, let's say, because i that's what I would think a helmet like that would be. Maybe an inch, let's just say an inch to be conservative. So that would make him five, six, right? Or her, I guess you could say. And then you take off the half inch for the shoe, let's say, and now it makes him five, five and a half. Wow, okay. Nope, I'm going to have to save this one out. That's wild. I don't see 5-2 at all, though. I don't know how you could ever get a 5-2 would ever enter an equation on this thing. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. 5-2. 5-2, you'd be, you know, you're down in this area, right? You know, not even there. You're you're right here. Like, that's that's a huge difference there. But, yeah, I mean, now that we've made it... Uh, before, I added about 5-7 to 5-9. But since we're now using the 80-inch marker, it's more like 5-5 five, five and a half type of thing. A little shorter. So, yes, Drew, you were close. You were close. A jealous female with an axe to grind. Pardon the pun, said Drew. Let's see. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, there, every once in a while, there's a little levity in there, right? The only problem is, is with doorknobs, you can't really use doorknobs because the standard varies too much. Like, you can have 40-inch high, you know, 36, 40, you know, 41, and then now you're, five, you know, 10 inches off if you're going to try to do a doubling type of thing. I think this is about as accurate as you can get right here. I really do. Let's see how much it actually changes if you... See, you know, and that doesn't even change that much, even if it's not in front of his nose. So you see that? But I'm just doing it that way. Because right there, he's a little bit hunched again, right there, right? Bent over. 
What's interesting is you can actually see his nose right there, or her, right there. It's, it's pretty crazy. And then, see how it passes in front of his face? So I'm assuming that's how it normally works. When you've reached the apex of stepping back, that's when it's right in front of your face. Right? So right there. That's where I did it. And I think this is it. Wow. So I'm going to go with, uh, I think, five, five and a half now. That's crazy. And that's if... That's really um, five, you know, uh, excuse me, 80 inches exactly. See, the thing is what I was told was that the door, the door itself is 80 inches, right? So that means, uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of space on the ground. So let's, let's just say five, six. All right, Drew. <laughs> Hey, Vic, uh, I hope I, I wasn't too boring for you tonight. <laughs> I mean, just looking at pixels, I can see you can get a little bit of a, a snooze fest. You know what I'm talking about? Ah, oh, thanks. Okay, so now let's just go through the surveillance just for the hell of it. See if we can, you know, what we're seeing here. See, that kind of stuff seems feminine to me right here. This, this, this part right here. The way, you know, the hand on the wall kind of thing. Like, what's the point of that, right? That's so weird right there. Like, is he drunk? Or, you know, like, what are you doing right now? Like, why are you touching it like that? That's sort of weird, you know? It's almost like somebody frolicking, uh, you know, in a way. You know, the other attempt I made at how his height, which actually gave me a very similar measurement that we just got, was at this door right here, when he opened that door, or was near that door, right here. It almost seems like he got that hammer or whatever from inside that room there. I don't know if he brought it with him or not, but... See, like right here, this is a pretty good... Let me show you the one I did the other day. It's not like... The greatest looking thing in the world, but this one looks kind of cartoony the way I did it. But look, I had five, four to five, six here. So now we've got two different places where it seems, and see, I had six foot eight. That's 80 inches. So I used 80 inches on this door right here. And then I took him and I cropped him out and made a copy of him and then slid him over right on this line here because this camera is absolutely perpendicular to these lines. So I slid him over right into that doorway and then you see he's right in that same exact spot. So it's almost like a corroborating uh, shot. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully I didn't lose you guys again on that one. So now I've got two of them. All right, I have two different places where I've, I'm getting a five, six is in the ballpark. I had this one, it even could have been 5.4 to 5.6. But 5.2 is never in, in a picture for me. That seems really weird. Yeah, so I slid him across into the door and then put the, uh, you know, use the skew technique in Photoshop with seven, you know, I mean, equally marked. This one, though, is a little bit of a guess, kind of, because see how... It's not seven feet. I just kind of made it a little bit shorter than these. So let's see if let's say if it was a little bit taller, I have to move it down. Yeah, that would make them a little taller, 
just not much though. Let's say I was off by an inch. I'd have to slide this down. Thus, this line would go down, you know, a little bit. But also those lines are really thick too, so it's not, it's hard to see. I mean, those lines are almost like in two inches thick, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we all, we've all seen the penguin duck walk kind of thing. That's like what everybody talks about. You know? So right here, here you go. You got them walking. See that kind of sliding the right foot out. See what I don't what I think is weird is everyone keeps saying, oh, he's got an injured leg, but I don't agree with that. I think his left leg moves exactly the same. You know. And it's weird too, because the shoes seem way oversized. You see what I'm saying? Like look at that. They're almost like flippers. Look at look at that thing. Compared to that person's size. It's almost like what they did was they took their husband's police outfit and made it fit them and showed up, you know, if it's a female. And, and said, oh, I gotta even, I'm even going to use his shoes, too, but they didn't quite fit that good. Oh, yeah? Hey, great minds, huh? A couple of you thought that out there. Well, I guess we're only great if it turns out to be true, right? It's hard to say if, you know, that's what people say, but I mean, I don't know. Looks kind of like maybe her husband bought a costume once and she, so it looks like right there he turned on the, uh, the headlamp. Like it's on right now. You see that? See, right now he's got the headlamp on and you can tell, watch right up here. I mean, not only can you see it on the head right there, but see right there, that little light that's shining. Right there. Watch that. See how that's moving now. And then right there is a really good shot. It actually shines on the side of the wall there. Well, that's creepy. And this would have been a somewhat good area to check the height too. But uh, it's not, you can't tell exactly where that person is and on that. Okay, so now he comes out of here and Lord, uh, Lorden's show, he was talking about a, something square in his left hand at this point. I can kind of see that right there, a box of something. Like a, looks almost like a carton, like a, I wonder if that's something he took from that room. I'm going back, I'm going backwards right now. Just so you didn't think a ghost opened that door right there. What, I can't remember what, what did John think maybe that was, that square box? Or boxes are normally square, but you know, the cube that he's holding. <laughs> yeah, saltines. Yeah. Well, actually, crackers did come to mind, Drew. I was thinking of a different type of cracker. But... I wish I had the time lapse because you see how, like, right now. There's nothing on the ground, but he's doing something, and then all these chips start showing up on the ground. So I guess that's it. Do I have this scaled right? Oh, no, I've got it way big here. Hold on. No, that was right. Wait, I think. Hold on. Oh no, I was missing some stuff on the edges.
Oh yeah. So right there, you can actually see the swing of the hammer. See the hammer right there, the head of the hammer, and then the curved edge going back. And here he goes. Bang! 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 Bang, bang, bang. You know, now he's really hammering something and chips are flying right there. So what's, uh, I wonder, huh, was there more over here that they cut off? Why do they have that logo right there? Bang. Boom. Let's see how he swung that. Is that more like a, how a, you know, I'm not saying like a, you know, yeah, I'm going to say like how a woman might swing a hammer. Let's see. I don't know. Not saying every woman swings a hammer like that, but sometimes they don't use tools like that much, so it's like some, okay? I know it's different now, but I'm talking about people that I've people of I I've dated haven't used hammers. I'm the one, hey Gray, go get the hammer, go do something. Maybe that's uh, maybe nowadays it's not like that, I don't know. This guy just seemed like he was, you know what it seemed like to me? Like he was just killing time. Yeah, it's too hard to tell. He just seems like it's somebody who's just killing time. Like waiting, like, yeah, 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 la, la, la. Yeah. Like just lollygagging around, just kind of no rhyme or reason. Just kind of waiting for Missy to get there. And, you know, he knows that around. It's pretty crazy, though, because, like, somebody else could have shown up, too, right? I mean, what if somebody showed up early to class? What do you mean as soon as she pulls up? What do you mean by that? Do you, have you seen surveillance of that? I mean, like, pulls up to the parking lot, or...? Yeah, just reading some comments over here. Okay, don't quote you. So as soon as her, how did he know her car was pulling up if he's sort of like in the middle of the was he at that point ready? See, there must be like literally, there's probably like 20 something more minutes of surveillance. See, a lot of times what police do is they, they let the public see just enough to maybe help somebody try to identify, but they hold all the rest to themselves. And it's like, listen, let everybody see every single bit of the surveillance except where Missy's on the ground, okay? Let them see every last movement. And there might be some little tiny thing that they go, oh, look at that. There we go. Because there's no way that's all their surveillance. Like he was there for like a half hour, right? Didn't he get there around like 4.30 and then Missy got there at 5? Or was it she got there at 4.30? Yeah, the walk's pretty unique, for damn sure.
See, now, now we know that that right there is actually the light on the head right there. That's a light. Yeah, it just sucks how, you know, like this is, these aren't very good surveillance cameras, you know, and they're not clear. Um, I doubt they're even HD. They look like they're the same 640 by 480 kind of crap. And the lighting's not very good. Okay, let's try to get some lighting difference on this one. See what happens. Yeah. See, when you start putting too much filters like that, you end up just destroying, you know, the credibility of the the the, the actual image. <laughs> yeah. See, like someone might get right here and go, "Oh, look! You can see his eye. Look, there's an eye right there." Come on. No. See, this is actually the lamp, and that's just some weird pixel at that point. That's not what that is. It almost looked like that before. That, that, that used to be like the opening where his eyes... I mean, I'm sure there's eyes sticking out at some point right there. Like, if you were going to look at that frame right there, you'd say, Oh, look, there's an eye. Look, you can see it. It's small. and you know. But that's not what you're looking at. And there's the original. Yeah, that's true. Or, you know, they're just sort of wearing some stuff to make them look bigger. You know, a bunch of clothes underneath the outfit. And the funny thing is, is we don't even know if the gate's real, right? Like, that could have been... Somebody that's going to go through all this effort knows that there's surveillance footage cameras, right? And thus might even try to hide their gate. The sh to me, it looks like, yeah, the shoes look big, too big for the person. Like, uh, let's say her husband, let's say, let's say this is a woman. She has a husband. And let's say she had, you know, at 5'6", she'd probably wear a size 7 shoe for a female. And let's say her husband had a size 9. Well, she could probably put her foot in there and it would kind of, you know, to be able to work with that. You know, put, put a, some extra socks on. And flop it around a little bit. I'm gonna go back to that first shot. Or wherever that was when they were walking. Yeah, this one. That's just weird. Like, guys don't normally... I could see a, a woman doing that. Like, ah, uh, you know, just sort of, hey. Like, what's he doing right there? I'm going to zoom in on that. And play it.
I don't know. Maybe a guy would do that. I, I just don't know. Just seems like it's weird the way he's, he's got his hands sort of up. I don't know. Doesn't seem like there must have been an alarm system since... Or maybe disactivated? I don't know how that worked. You'd think if you had surveillance cameras, you'd have a, an alarm system. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's something like that, like they were just sort of in pain. But see, like, look at that shot right there. Like that aren't the hands up. You know, I don't know. And then, and then again, sort of a... Hmm. Yeah, he, but you know, when I, when I watch this, um, I guess she was shot though, right? With a gun. I always, when you look at Missy, she seems like she could beat up a guy that looks, or a, even a woman or a guy that looks like this. Or, you know, or move quick and get out of the way, you know? And, like she's athletic. This, this person's slow. So maybe that's why they, they even brought the gun, right? No, I heard there was a gun involved with it. I'm sure maybe there was a hammer too at some point, but. Are you sure that's the only she was that's how she was attacked with a hammer? Cuz I've heard it, it was with the she was shot too. So I would think the shot would be first and then you would exact your revenge of hammering in the head while she's just still alive, you know, like a freak would do. All right, so she was shot and then was she hammered too? Cuz there was puncture marks, they said. I never heard that she was actually hammered and hammered. Right, I heard that. I, I watched this whole show. So, her head was bashed in? Or did she just have puncture marks? Because Veritas is saying all kinds of stuff that wasn't on Lorden's show, nor did Tim mention that. Okay. Nah, no, no law enforcement official would say, I don't agree with that at all. There's no, no law enforcement in the world would say, well, they had puncture, puncture wounds. And then somebody would say, oh, you mean gunshots? Oh, yeah, yeah, gunshots. No, they, they, those, are, those are different things, okay? They don't ever refer to those ever as being so, uh, a gunshot wound as a puncture wound, ever. So whoever said that's not correct, all right? Puncture wounds would be like a screwdriver, you know, some kind of a, like a, a pick, ice pick, you know, need, you know, something that's sharp that you poke in you know, I'm not sure, like maybe even, a, uh, I'm not sure, like I think a knife, they would call it a knife wound because you'd see like a, one of the edges of the cut would actually have a, a point on it because the side of the knife that had the sharp edge. Yeah, well, she's not right, so. Yeah, screwdriver, something like that. We who, we who knew her heard it was a hammer. Okay. Wow, there's so many people that just knew her that watch videos on YouTube, even when they're not related to that case. Interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, but that could have also been like sensationalism, right? At the beginning when people want to say, oh, she was hitting the hammer in the head, but maybe it really wasn't. I mean, the thing is, we're never going to get to know unless you see the autopsy report. Once the autopsy report's uh, released, then you'll be able to say, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so you didn't really know her or anything like that. Because up there you said, we who knew her. Okay. Uh, I don't know who Randy B is. Oh, that guy, the guy that they were talking about? Okay, yeah, your, your daughter might have, but... Yeah, I've never... Did, have you guys seen the Randy walking thing? Where's that video that they were talking about? I never saw any of that stuff. You know what's funny is he's almost like with his arm up here. Well, there's something wrong with the video. It's really pixelated up there. Like right there. Look how crazy that is. Man, could you imagine if Straight, uh, straight Drop got a hold of this little clip right here? He'd say, oh, whose arm moves like that? Look at it. It's broken and then it curves. You know. Well, look at it. That's because it's just bad video and it's pixelated up there. It's not like all of a sudden the person turned into a Mr. Gadget, okay? A reptilian. <laughs> yeah. I call it the son of Mr. Gadget. I don't know. I'm not really, like, I'm not, this isn't one of the cases that I, I'm really up on. Like, I know all the little latest details. You know, I hear about it here and there, follow up on it. I've had the surveillance footage the whole time. I looked at it a long time ago. It, to me, it's weird. It's sort of like the Delphi case. You've got the picture of this person walking around. And even in the Delphi case, you actually have the voice of the person. And they don't even have like a lot of like a disguise on. And we can't, you know, nobody can tell who that is, you know. When I say we, I meant the public. I'm not part of law enforcement. There we go. We got it. Another conspiracy. <laughs> He's guiding him. That's right. There's somebody over there calling his name from around the corner. It's actually the look-alike of Missy Beavers, right? It's not really her. She's off hiding somewhere. It's somebody else. That's what he would say. Yeah, that's what I said. They have the voice, but I'm still... I've done a lot of videos on that one. Have you seen any of my videos on that one, Alicia? Just remove the space. What does that even mean? Oh man, you haven't seen those? Well, I have a whole playlist on debunking videos. And then a whole nother one on, like, watch my, uh, the Flow 3 video, and then my more recent one. Because I actually figured out the flow of the crime, uh, ten days after the murder, and was argued with for months and months and months. Now everybody accepts that as the 
the flow of the crime. And law enforcement actually contacted me back then and said, wow, I think you got this one. You, uh, they, were, they were excited that I was able to get that information from just publicly available video. They already had the information, but they were just letting me know that I was right. Yeah. And I actually made one video as an animation uh, that I did on the bridge, uh, you know, of the girls on the bridge walking, and it shows all the different shots and so forth. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, like Patricia said. So, huh, that's funny how, like, now I do. I think he's more like five. If that's correct, that these are 80 inches, then I think he's more like five, six. Sixty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And see, that's five, seven without, that, you know, that's the top of the helmet. So now you still have to remove, you know, I mean, it could be like five, four and a half, you know, to be honest with you. If you take off, if you're at five, seven, you take off two inches for, like, look at, look at, here's his nose, right? You see that? That's like the mouth right there, the nose. So his head would come up like in like this, like in here, you know, like this. So you're looking at five, five, and then you have to subtract a half inch for the shoe, maybe, and you're looking at five, four and a half. You know, because the head would come up like in here-ish. You know, so five five. Now well, let's let's say this: five four to five seven. Does that sound like a better kind of five seven? Doesn't seem very likely. However, if you add the other inch, you know, maybe there's a little bit of. I'd like someone to take a measuring tape from the floor to the top of that Dutch door. Then we'd have the actual. Exact number. Okay, well, I think I'm done analyzing this for the night. But I thought it was pretty interesting. What do you guys think? And I, and I actually stuck with it. I didn't switch around too much to different topics. A teen? Jesus. Well, if you live there, Drew, go do it, damn it. Just walk in and say, hey, do you mind if I do something? Just, a I know. Well, the thing is, if you ask, they can say no. If you do it, and then you get caught, you can say, oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, you could go during a church service, and then, uh, I know it sounds lame, but, and then go out with the measuring tape and just measure from the top of that Dutch door to the ground. Okay? Do it, man! Contribute to the cause! Yeah, so do you live in that town, Drew? Yeah, you guys should head out there together. Heck, maybe you guys can go out on a date afterwards, too. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, cool. Like, how many, like, like, uh, you don't have to say. Why, do you live within 15 miles? Oh, really? Oh, like five, then? Four, two, uh, a couple blocks away? Okay, I got it. Well, what the hell are you guys doing then? Get out there. Man, if I lived anywhere near there, I would have already been in there filming everything. Like, if I lived in Delphi, I would have been there. 
I'd get in there with a GoPro camera on my head. I put it on my head during service, just kind of walk around and say, hey, where's the bathroom? And they'd say, well, it's over there, but why do you have a camera on your head? And you go, oh, I just put that on all the time. You never know who you might run into. It's just more of a security method. Oh, okay, I got it. Well, message me. Yeah, I want to know what the... You got to bring a measuring tape, though, okay? Don't go there and go, yes, I'm here. Oh, wait, I didn't bring my measuring tape. And then use your hand and kind of go, okay, there's one, two, you know, that's it's not going to work, all right? So what you need is one of those measuring tapes, the metal ones, where you can hook it onto the top of the door, go down to the ground, and push it in there. You'll be within a half inch, okay? I don't think uh, Drew would forget. I'll spray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, may, yeah. And don't forget, all every one of you wear all black. You know, like tights, right? And make sure you've got like stocking caps on. And hell, I don't. I'm not sure what you want to do. Maybe sunglasses, right? And then play like the Mission Impossible music right before you go in. You know what I'm saying? Not this music, okay? Don't, well, that might work because it's a little bit sort of suspicious, sort of like you're, you know, hey, you know you're not supposed to be there, but we're going to do it anyways. You know what I should do is go check to see if I've got, I just put your, your profile up there again, Darian. I went to it to message you. I'm going to go do the... Uh... Nah, I'm not going to do that. I was going to put my YouTube comments up, but that, then it goes veers off track. Okay, here I'm back. Hey, the blogger, about done. About done for the night. You got here late. Yeah, I'm going to save this one. I think it's fine. Not a lot of strangeness going on. Not, no, I uh, didn't see any trolls either. Yes, that's not a bad idea, huh, Connie? You know, come through the chute. Let's see what we got here on the... Uh... So here's the... Well, I don't see really any uh, obvious entry points there. Maybe they could take off one of these ventilation shafts right here and uh, hoist themselves down, if you know what I'm saying. A little Mission Impossible style with those really skinny wires. Now oh, I'm going to go to bed, blogger. I've already been on here for two hours and 35 minutes. No, I already already did that. It's six eight to seven foot. But isn't it better just to have the actual height? Somebody walks in there, measures it, and goes, "Wow, that was eighty two inches." Then I can go, "Oh, okay, cool." And then I'll do the same damn thing, but with eighty two inches. So no, that's no. you can't just say, "Oh yeah," because the thing is, there's such a variance. The average standard 
height is six, eight to seven foot. Now, uh, door handles are, can be, regulation is 36 to 42 inches. So it can be anything. All right. What about Lord and Arts, Audra? Are you here? Are you? I mean, we, we all went and watched it today. Wow. Yeah. I was thinking like, wow, you're like an advertising agency. But I actually don't mind. Every, you know, like I tell everybody to go watch his videos. They're, you know. We we have different styles, obviously. He he does like you know, sort of a I don't know. It's weird. We both dig deep into it, but he does it a, a I dig deep into sort of like these specific elements, right? And he do, does a whole, you know, the whole overall picture, you know, looking into the details of it. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I do that too, but I just uh, what I, I go over the whole thing, but then I find the visual parts are what I focus in on because I like to, like I've said before. I like people to feel like they're they are there and can look at you know like they are in the scene you know like with the heart case you know I make sure that I get street views and different shots and stuff and then when everybody's done watching all my videos they can say they have a really good picture in their mind of what they're looking at and that's kind of what I that's my sort of my forte I guess And I learned a long time ago that when, when I try to explain things to people, they just go, nope, 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 nope. So I realized that I have to make videos that show what I th think, you know, and I can do it where when you're done watching it, you go, oh, well, there you go. Boom. You know, it's not like it's hard to explain things to people because a lot of people are visual. So when you explain it to them, they don't necessarily necessarily believe it but when you show it to them they then they believe it and I'm not saying like you know when I say believe it I try to only do things like that when I know after looking at it over and over that it's going to be true and factual you know I don't just sort of oh well I'm going to make this and try to sell something to somebody my videos are based on you know, the facts and, and what's presented, and then I put it out there. This, you know, like this right here, we're just looking at video and kind of, you know, trying to piece it all together. There's no, I'm not trying to make any guesses or anything. You know, it looks like he's probably between, you know, now I'm taking a second look at it using a different technique. He, in two different techniques now, he's at 5.5 five to 5.7-ish. Five, Five, you know, maybe even five four to five seven. I don't see five two whatsoever, but okay. Well, I think that's about it. You guys get it all figured out. Go there and then, uh, hey Alicia, here's my email. So when you get the actual height, send it to me, and I'll do a, I'll redo the uh, that graphic. All right. Right there. All right, everybody. That was good times. Good hanging out, going over the uh, surveillance footage. Appreciate everybody that showed up. All right, so here I am. I am still here. You can see I look like I'm worn out. You know. Of course, let me. If I move my head around like this, it adds to the effect. You know, like I, I my head's just barely on at this point okay everybody <laughs> have a good evening talk to you later